I hope you guys have been having a good week so far and uh, yeah it's been raining the past few days so I was like, really unable to actually come out to uh, do some videos and uh, it's a beautiful day today so I decided to just come out and just talk about a little bit about something um, with regards to meditation of course so you know um, before one actually begins one's own meditation journey there is something very important for one to actually realize now um, this is the difference between the various aspects of your mind what do I mean by that now in our daily lives we hear we feel we taste we smell and uh, we rely on all our senses you know, to see and to experience our world but ultimately this isn't what we truly are and throughout uh, many 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 schools of meditation um, they've tried to emphasize this point of you being the awareness now behind every emotion behind every sight behind every sound uh, that you experience that is that true essence of you observing the world out there and this you as the awareness is the one that chooses whether to experience or to hold the experience longer to take actions after that but still it is that awareness that is truly you and that is where once you are able to really identify that position of you you start to realize that other aspects of uh, emotions um, thoughts pretty much are just deriving from there and they are not in true control the true control is that part of you which is just pure awareness observing everything that happens around you and then ultimately deciding Know, how you want to shape the experience now once you understand that part of you right you understand that that part of you is also the same part of you that controls your body whether is it uh, when it comes to you just wanting to control your hands or you know uh, as you are lying down in bed you, know, you can choose to relax your face muscles your eyes you know of course not your nose and some people say yeah, relax your nose yeah, I can't do that right but that part of you is the one that controls every single aspect of your reality in life and it, you need to be able to identify that part of you before you can start to actually go into meditation because once you close your eyes without realizing that many things will start flooding into your mind you know like uh, what's that going to do later what was it going to be at work tomorrow? How, I'm going, how am I going to handle this situation, that situation? How am I going to talk to this person, that person? Feeling very stressed out. But with that awareness, you can start to put them all aside. You know, and just simply experience yourself as you, which is the observer and the awareness and the consciousness. So yeah, just thought to share a little bit uh, of this part uh, that people need to understand before you actually get into meditation. If you want to experience it, you just have to close your eyes and just observe everything that's happening around you in terms of sound and feel. And that is your consciousness and your awareness that is purely you all right so you guys have a good day a week uh, a good week ahead all right and i'll see you take care